Hey, what's up everyone? It's Hippo TC here, the cursed captain of the Sea of Thieves, and boy oh boy do we have a lot to talk about. Recently, the devs over at Rare did a live Q&A and they revealed a ton of things that are coming out for the Sea of Thieves and the future, and I cannot wait to talk about it. Let's go. One of the first things that was asked was about Pirate Legends and whether or not there was content that was exclusive to them coming out soon, and this is what they had to say. They said, yes, I mentioned previously in the Tall Tales Q&A that they were looking to unlock the value from all the mechanics added to the Tall Tales as part of new refreshed voyages. So absolutely, Pirate Legends will see new voyages in the future that benefit from this perhaps even a reason to return to the Shores of Gold as one of the first. Well, there you go. They are planning to add more to the Pirate Legend role exclusive content for just them, which is awesome. There's also another question that they asked later on about the journey of a Pirate Legend, and this is what they had to say. But what I will say is that we absolutely want to enrich the game for Pirate Legends. While we've spent the time up till now deliberately expanding the game for all players, we do want to provide new progression options for our Pirate Legends. This right here is one of the reasons why I love Rare so much and I believe in the game Sea of Thieves. They have a development team that is constantly listening to the community and making tweaks for the future and I cannot wait to see what they do for Pirate Legends in the future. They also revealed that a new tall tale is on the horizon. It's almost here so I cannot wait to see what they do with that. I'm betting that it's going to have something to do with Dark relics and this theme that they're building around that so i can't wait to see that and they also confirmed for sure that pets will be here september the 11th which means we are going to have pets in less than a week and i cannot wait to get my own parrot Another question that was answered was about shanties and whether or not there would be new shanties coming to the City of Thieves. This is what they had to say. There will be more shanties in the future, including a new one relatively soon that ties into a track we released very recently as it will have some emotional importance to the next set of Tall Tales. If you guys aren't sure what track they're talking about, it's called the Stitcher's Sorrow. It's it's a very sad, sad song from Stitcher Jim, if you guys remember him from the Forsaken campaign, the Forsaken Shores campaign. So the new shanty is going to be tied to him somehow, which definitely probably has a relation to these dark relics. I'm not quite sure, but there's, there's something here. They're working towards something. Rare is always building towards the future, so I'm excited to see what this is all about. People who have been playing the game since launch are amassing large quantities of gold. Are there plans to give more ways to spend your gold? This is a great question. Let's be honest. We all are sitting there with huge amounts of gold and nothing to spend our gold on. So this is what Rare had to say. Yes, in the short term, we're adding the black market as a new way to acquire cosmetics, but there will be much more impactful ways in the future. We totally see the reality of large gold wallets currently, especially for players who already have their favorite cosmetics. We want to add completely new reasons to spend gold that enrich the experience, not just be more cosmetics. And we all breathe a collective sigh of relief because we want to spend gold and we want Rare to give us reasons to spend gold and it sounds like they have something coming up soon for us just for that. So that's good, that's good news. Will the creator crew include all types of creators, YouTubers, cosplayers, prop makers, artists, social media, fan pages, musicians, etc., or will it focus on streamers? As a creator myself, this was a great question because recently Rare announced something called the Creator Crew and I was wondering how people like Nerd Propellant over on Etsy would benefit from this Creator Crew kind of new thing that they've added and will be adding to the game. So this is great to see because there's so many talented people out there that use their talents and abilities to create amazing things for the game outside of videos. So this is what they had to say. We absolutely intend for the creator crew to support all types of content creators, but at its initial launch, it's focused on video. We have some work to do to enable support for creators of other types, which we will be working on as soon as we launch. Totally understand the question here. We love all the creativity amongst our community and want to support it all. And quite possibly the biggest question of the night 
is, can we please get a splash tail figurehead? To which they responded, absolutely, the best fish in the seas needs its own figurehead. I mean, who doesn't want a splash tail figurehead? Now let's talk about curses. There was a question about curses and will we see new curses in the future? This is what Rare had to say. We have explored a whole range of cool curses for the pirates from the Order of Soul's Eyes, Gold Curse, and many others, and we haven't exhausted them yet. I can't wait to see player adventures with the others. Now this I am excited for. As the curse captain, I have been wanting a curse that makes my pirate look like he does on the Fairy of the Damned. I would love to see a pirate running around half cursed, half there. Like that would be awesome. That would be the curse that I would grind this game for. I would do it because that would be amazing. I also loved how this question got slipped in there and it was a real simple response that Rare did, but there's a question asking about, is there any new plans for new weapon types in the Sea of Thieves? To which Rare responded, yes. Which we overlooked, but oh my goodness, what does that mean? Are we adding boarding axes, fire bombs? I've recently talked about fire bombs. Like that would be really cool to see. Like who knows what's coming up? Daggers? Like could you imagine throwing daggers at somebody? I mean, possibilities, we're pirates. We're pirates. Maybe two flint locks. Like who knows? That'd be cool. Will we ever be able to name our ships with a visible place card? To which they said, yes, we've talked about this forever, being able to name your ship. So this is awesome. It's on the future. I know that they've talked about it for a while, but I have faith that Rare will implement it soon-ish. So that's great. Can't wait to see that. I want to see the Black Death on my ship. For clothing, is it possible we could get more general pirate clothing that doesn't belong to a set? For example, a bunch of simple pirate hats or hooks or bandanas or whatever that could be mixed and matched with any set to create more variety. What a great question. This is what they had to say. We are looking at adding in more general pirate clothing and actually having some being worked on right now. We also love the idea of more ways for players to role play as pirates in the world with clothing. Think the whale lord oh my goodness we there's we need more we need simple clothing i just want like black clothes as the pirate the cursed captain the captain of the black death i'm just asking for some simple clothes and while we're talking about cosmetics can i please 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 get a black hall ship with black torn sails and no logos that's all i want it's a simple request also can i get the ferryman ship cosmetics on the cannons that would be great mike the mutinous one word that describes the following months for sea of thieves awakening what could this mean? Well, I think there's a ton of possibilities out there. I even did a video talking about speculation and the dark relics. What could they mean for the future of Sea of Thieves? So definitely check that video out. Uh, but you know, I think I think it could mean possibly someone by the name of Flameheart. I'm just saying, I think it has something to do with Flameheart. We're gonna awaken Flameheart. We better get more mega cakes. Charpy would love this next question. Here it is. Any plans on adding mechanics to the game that require you to be drunk on Grog? To which Rare says, probably, probably this would be the most epic tall tale ever. This is what they had to say. We once had a plan for tall tale called the Rum Runner that required you to be drunk to see visions in the world. I'm sure we'll revisit something like this again in the future. And the last big question that stood out to me was this. Will we ever see more ship skins representing other cultures? Well, this is a great question. I would love to see something like this. Imagine for a moment sloops looking different with different sails and different things all functioning the same, but they just look different. That would be awesome. I would love to see like a Viking themed ship cosmetic type of thing. That would be super cool. I love Viking themed stuff. So seeing that implemented in the game would be awesome. But here's what Rare had to say. We are working on new ship cosmetics all the time and played around with some great looks, but want to make sure that when added, they are part of the rich lore and history we are building. If we just had the right story of some type. Well, there you have it, mates. So many big things have been revealed in this Q&A. If you, if you want to jump in there, I didn't 
get to all of the questions because it would have made this video way too long but you can definitely go check them out for yourself i love that rare does these q and a's it's a great way that they kind of stay engaged with the community and we get to be a part and ask questions and find out what's coming up so that's awesome thank you again guys for watching and as always if you haven't yet subscribed please make sure to subscribe it really helps me when you guys do that and i can keep doing these types of videos and creating content for you guys so yeah definitely hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later out on the seas.